Hey, you gonna introduce me to these fine young ladies? This is Tynave, and the driver's Farlene. They serve directly under me, my ears and eyes in Aeriglyph. They're the ones who told me about you two. Really? Lucky for us. All women, huh? Not that I'm complaining. Aquaria is ruled by the Holy Mother of the Church of Apris. We employ many more women than Aeriglyph. The Church of Apris? Yes, the Church of the Sun God Apris. The Holy Mother leads the Church, and is also Queen of Aquaria. Interesting. A theocracy. I gotcha. What you're saying is your country's packed with temple maidens. Now I have to see this place. Cliff? Mel, I'd appreciate it if you'd answer my question now. Right. But before that, might I ask one thing? Yes? What? Are you two really engineers from Greeton? Um, yes. Well, um... Hey, you still don't believe us? It's not that. It's just... The fact that you possess special technology and knowledge is clear to me. So yes, it does seem likely that you are who you say. Still, something doesn't fit. The way you respond to danger and your fighting ability indicate that you are not telling me everything. And you are certainly not average engineers. Hmm. So you see, I believe my doubts are well-founded. I have to agree with this. Well... Okay, you got a point. But it seems to me you're just gonna have to take our word. We got nothing to gain by lying to you anyway. Wait, you don't think we're Aeriglyph spies, do you? Oh, please. Yes, I see what you mean. But you still don't trust us. No, I trust you. In any case, I was ordered by Her Majesty to bring you to Aquaria. I must fulfill my duty. Well then, Nell, please answer my first question. Yes. Since you're unfamiliar with this region, I'll fill you in on the details while explaining our current situation. Now that would take a while, wouldn't it? Please. Tynave, the map. Yes, ma'am. This is Aeriglyph. The town we just left. Everything to the west of this line is the nation of Aeriglyph. A military superpower. Eastwards of the border is our country, Aquaria. You follow? Yes. As I mentioned earlier, Aquaria and Aeriglyph are at war. Aeriglyph is a militaristic nation that reveres power above all else. Aquaria is a peaceful nation that worships the Church of Apris. Aquaria and Aeriglyph maintained friendly relations until several years ago. But one day, they invaded our territory without warning. It seems they'd been planning their invasion for some time. Aeriglyph's a frigid land ringed by mountains. Food production has never been easy here, especially in winter. We believe they were after our land, fertile with the blessing of Apris. A war of aggression, huh? More like a food shortage war. Correct. There was no diplomacy, only outright military aggression. We resisted, but we were outmatched. Somehow we managed to hold them back, but the border town of Arius was laid to waste. Still, the war has not been completely one-sided. We may be lacking in military power, but we do have runology. Runology? A secret art handed down by the followers of Apris. We inscribe special runes into our flesh that enable us to invoke normally impossible phenomenon. Okay, symbology. Thus the name runology. So that's how you broke the prison bars. Correct. Special runes? They look like tattoos. I can't help feeling I've seen something like this before. 
Hey, isn't that like symbology? Symbology? Right, that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Symbology? Uh, never mind that. Just continue. But what's stopping you from using runology to keep Aeriglyph back? There are only a few of us that can use runology. Far too few to help us stand up to Aeriglyph. That's why we decided to develop a weapon that makes use of runology. It's a man-made weapon that uses the special energy evoked by runology as a power source. Again, interesting. The engineers have named that energy Channeled Force. Channeled Force? Correct. It's similar to lightning, but there are still a number of problems preventing us from completing the weapon. A power similar to lightning? Just when our research ground to a halt, Ty Nave and Farleen told me about you two. They also brought back a fragment of that thing that fell into Aeriglyph. It was of great interest to our researchers. Uh-oh. They said the fragment was of a material they could not identify, and that we should enlist your aid in our weapons development. And that's where I came in. So you're asking us to help develop a weapon that uses channeled force? Yes. That is correct. It's existing technology. Hey, I bet we could use their power to make us a communicator. Yeah, a radio wave device, maybe. I don't really know much about this channeled force, but my guess is it's electricity. And if we can make that, we're home free. But, Nell, I can't do it. We can't help you. Didn't I say refusal wasn't an option? Uh. You're talking about a weapon that will kill many people. I don't want to have any part of that. Plus, we don't have any time to spare. I understand your situation. You need to hurry to save your father, correct? Yes. You admit this is a personal problem, not one that concerns us. Yes. True, but... Our country is in a state of war. Both the people of Aquaria and Aeriglyph are dying. Energy weapon or no. A quick end to this war will reduce the number of lives lost. That is true. That is why we need to complete our new weapon as soon as possible. This is starting to remind me of my old Earth history lessons. Even so, that's not a good enough reason for me to build a weapon. So you're going back on your word? No. That's coercion. Call it what you will. I already told you back at the prison I could not let you live if you refused to cooperate. I don't have anything against you two, but my duty comes first. And I don't need to remind you that you can't help your father if you're dead. Correct. Now wait a second. What do you think Aeriglyph would do if we abandoned you here? We wouldn't help them either. I wonder if you'd sing the same song after their Inquisitioner had his fun with you. I would. I've already had a taste of it, believe me. Confident, aren't you? Hey, don't get all bent out of shape. And you, chill out. But... No buts, kid. Nothing good comes of acting hastily. We have no other choice. Frankly, the war with Aeriglyph will escalate unless something is done soon. If we could only complete the new weapon, the situation would shift in our favor. If that means we must force uncooperative people into submission, then so be it. Uh... Is that a teaching of Apris? Of course not. The sun god Apris and our queen would never wish such things. Yet if we do not act, they will find themselves lacking for followers. Would you rather we submit to their swords like lambs to a slaughter? No. That's not what I mean. But that is what you are saying. You're just twisting my... Oh no! Huh? What is it, Farley? voice. Crisis! We have company! I think it's the Dragon Brigade! They've caught up with us? Damn, we were so close to Curlsaw, too. 
What are you gonna do? Fight? Lady Nell. What is it, Tynave? It would be best for you to slip off and find shelter in the rocks. We'll lure them away. That's too risky. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We've lost their kind before. But... Tynave, Barleen, I'm counting on you. Well, we should bail. Okay, you two, let's go. This is insane. You're just gonna let them go on? You are too valuable for us to lose. We'll be fine. Fewer people means more speed. We'll outrun them. So please, go! No time for chit-chat. Let's move! But... Fate... Please, look after Lady Nell. Okay. You be careful yourself. Don't worry about us. May the grace of Apris be with you. That May voice the grace is just... of Apris be with you. May the sun be with you. Wait, wrong game. The Dragon Brigade. I feared they'd show up sooner or later. It shows how important you are to them. That's the Dragon Brigade? Correct. They're one of Ereglyph's three military branches. Knights riding powerful air dragons. Not to be trifled with. We'll remember that. Time to go. While Tyne distracts them, we can go through Curlsa and enter Aquaria territory. Wait a moment. I haven't agreed to cooperate with you yet. And we can't leave them here. There's no way they'll be able to escape with those Dragon Knights chasing them. Yes. There's an extremely good chance that they'll be caught. But there's nothing we can do about it. What? They knew the dangers of their mission when they accepted it. <sighs> if I became a burden to the mission, they would leave me behind in the same way. Mission? Mission? What's the matter with you? Hey, Faith, shut up! But... I agree with Cliff on this one. I'll leave whether or not we cooperate up to you. But save the debate for later. We gotta get somewhere safer first. <sighs> we'll be safer once we reach Aquaria, right? Yes. I can guarantee that. There you are. So let's go there, then we can decide what's what. Make sense to you? Yeah, but still... Shut up. You want Tynave and Farleen's sacrifice to go to waste? Whatever their objective might be, they're risking their lives to save us. Right. Adam. See if I can find a place to go here while being attacked by bees. Or is that a wasp? Here we go, guys. Get a move on. Bring it on. Blade of Fury. Hell, what the? that I forgot Nell could do that uh, let's see uh. 
What's wrong? Uh, not this sensation again. <sighs> My head. Ah. Are you sure you're all right? Uh, I just felt dizzy there for a minute. We'll be in Curlsaw soon. Can you make it that far? Most likely. Why don't you have him carry you? I'm fine. I'm not a baby, jeez. Very well. Something suspicious is going on. I like this town's theme. This is Curlsaw. If we can get through this town, we'll be in Aquaria. Are you alright? I'm fine. Don't overexert yourself. Remember, you're not as strong as we are. Now even you're treating me like a baby. I said I'm fine. Yeah, well, I'm saying you don't look fine at all. I'd prefer to just leave this town now, but that won't be possible with fate in this condition. Let's stay here tonight. Fair enough. What about those guys chasing us? We'll be okay if Ty, Nave, and Farlene succeed in leading them off. And in any case, we have nothing to gain by forcing a sick person to march. True enough. And we're in luck. There's an inn right over there in that building with the wagon outside. Let's go. Right. I'll see you later. Where are you going? I'm just going to check things out. I'll be right back. Alright, but are you sure you should leave us alone? Aren't you afraid we'll just run away? No, you won't run out on me. I trust you, remember? Uh, don't say that. Now we can't run away. Darn it! <laughs> I don't mind you walking around. Just don't leave the town. And don't do anything conspicuous. We're still in Aeryglyph territory. There's no telling where the enemy is hiding. Gotcha. All right. Later then. It's like, Fate, you should get some rest. What are you gonna do? Don't worry about me. What are you gonna do? I'm conspicuous just walking around. Well, it's gonna be pretty boring. But I guess I'll just have to wait right here. How are you conspic- oh, whatever. I think I'll take a walk. I'm sure it'll do me good. All right, but be careful. Like she said, we're still in enemy territory. Yeah, I know. All right, whatever. I'm pretty sure there's something I can do out here. Let's go restock on supplies. I never noticed that before. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell those. And this. I can only carry 16 of those. Ooh, steam buns. Although they're really expensive right now. I 
I'm gonna return to the inn. Save. I'll definitely end the episode, so tune in again for more.